Welcome to The Great Loop Aboard the Perch. I'm Kim Russo with America's Great Loop Cruisers Association, and this is like 59 of our Great Loop. Today we're going from Mackinac City to Charlevoix after having spent about two weeks with the Perch in Mackinac City, taking care of some business both on and off the boat. But we were definitely ready to get going again, and we had the view of the Coast Guard icebreaker there as we left the Strait State Harbor and headed out we had an immediate view of Big Mac, the Mackinac Bridge, which is uh, kind of the indicator that we're moving from Lake Huron to Lake Michigan. This is a five-mile bridge that was opened in 1957, and before that, the upper peninsula of Michigan on the other side of that bridge was basically cut off from the lower peninsula during the winter months. That little jog you just saw on the track was actually us kind of turning into a wake. Always amazing when there's a big giant lake out here and other boats that are faster decide that they need to pass really close and really fast, um, but it happens and you just continue on. But once we were out in the lake, a pretty uneventful cruise. It was a beautiful sunny day. There's a little bit of a view from our stern, but you are in open water, so you want to wait for a good weather window for this. And of course, open water crossings are probably the least exciting from this flyover view. But we did pass a few lighthouses along the way. So got a view of the White Shoal Lighthouse, originally opened in 1911. And shortly thereafter, the Gray's Reef Lighthouse opened in the 1930s. For the most part, there's very deep water here on the Great Lakes, and Lake Michigan is no exception. Here is one spot that is a little bit of an exception, obviously well-marked, well-charted, uh, very different cruising than you were seeing in Georgian Bay, where you were constantly on the lookout for the rocks lurking just beneath the surface. Plenty of depth here. And as we continued our way into Charlevoix, we started having a closer look at land again, which is always a comforting sight. The water was crystal clear, Pretty calm day, as you can see in this video here. And as we got even closer to Charlevoix, we started to see the white sand dunes on the beaches. And later got to actually walk some of those beaches in Charlevoix, and they're just, you feel like you're in the Caribbean. Crystal clear water, sugary, powdery sand, just a really beautiful place to visit. There is a bridge on the channel leading into Charlevoix. It opens on the hour and half hour. I believe the clearance is only 10 feet when it's closed, so most looper boats will have to wait for that. And there is a group of boats, some coming out, the bridge had just opened, um, and some waiting to head on into Round Lake. And just beyond Round Lake is Lake Charlevoix. We stopped at the Mackinac City Marina there on Round Lake. So overall, a little bit over five hours for the day, closer to six, I guess. It's about a 50 mile trip and it took us about um, an average of nine knots on this one. So again, there's a look at the overall track. We will be back soon with our Great Loop Lifestyle from Charlevoix. If you want more information on Mackinac City, that was our previous Great Loop Lifestyle video, so you can check those out. We will end up staying in Charlevoix for some extended time due to weather, and then we'll be heading over to the Wisconsin coast. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.